back to the Geordie View. Newcastle United are home to Crystal Palace tomorrow night. 7.45 kick off at St James's Park. So our last game against Leicester City. Sorry, I haven't been able to do a review or a preview for this. I just haven't had time. Things have gotten in the way. But um, we won 2-1. Uh, Guy Marais with his first two goals at St James's Park, including Edda right at the end to win the game for us. What a moment that went when that went in. And I think that's pretty much us safe. Um, with the way this Premier League season's going, I mean, 12 points above Burnley. As it stands, plus Burnley sacking Sean Dyche uh, will not have helped their cause. Um, Crystal Palace lost 2-0 against Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-finals, but they've done well to get there. And they played some good football under Patrick Vieira. But um, looking at the table, I think now we need to be aiming potentially for top 10. We're just three points behind uh, Brighton. They've got Manchester City tomorrow night. Um, and um, you wouldn't expect them to get anything out of that game. But if we can beat um, Palace, we'll go level on points with Brighton. Yes, we'll still be below them on uh, goal difference. But I think we've probably got a chance of top 10. I'm not going to put Leicester. I'm not going to talk about you know catching Leicester because, you know, yes, they're 40 points. They're also on 40 points, but they've got two games in hand. Um, but uh, if we beat Crystal Palace, we actually go above them in the table. They've got the better goal difference and a game in hand. But if we go above them, then... Sorry, if we win, then we're three points above them. We'll look at the team news for Newcastle. Uh, Trippier Wilson could be back for the Liverpool game. I think Ryan Fraser is still out. He came off injured against Wolves. Uh, we didn't risk him against Leicester, which was the right thing to do. And we're not going to risk him tomorrow night. Again, the right thing to do. I think Eddie Howe said along lines of they've had mixed um, opinions on the hamstring injury. And you don't want to be rushing back a player after a hamstring injury. Um, Javi Mankio, 75%. I think he's had an illness, but um, as I'm going to come on to soon... I personally wouldn't start him if he was fully fit. I swear Crystal Palace have only got a couple of injuries. Uh, Milivojevic, who has scored a couple of penalties past us, is out, as is uh, Nathan Ferguson. But um, Looking at the players to watch out for from Crystal Palace, I picked out three. Wilfred Zaha, I think. We all know how good he can be for them. And he's definitely going to be a threat. Um, against um, Emil Kraft or Matt Target. And Conor Gallagher, who um, they put, got in on loan from Chelsea. He's been impressive for them. And uh, he looks a really good talent. Another player looks a good talent. Uh, Tyreek Mitchell, I think he got in the England squad uh, for the last round of games, if I remember correctly. But it'll definitely be a threat on um, our right hand side but um, now I'll get into the starting 11 um, going 4-3-3 three, three. again you know I think it's definitely our best formation for, like these types of games so starting off in goal Martin Dubravka you're probably disappointed the way you conceded the um, Luckman's goal at the weekend but he's obviously number one for a reason Right back, I'm actually going to stick with Emil Kraft, who's been much better last couple of games. And um, he deserved to keep his start in space. The two centre-backs, firstly, I'm going to stick with Fabian Scher. Then alongside him, Dan Byrne. At left back, I'm going to go with Matt Target. And by the way, that was some ball over to um, Joe Willock for... Uh, in the in the lead up to the goal, his ball to Willock. He used that extra energy and um, got the cross in. It was deflected to Gimarish, but that was a, he started the counter attack mark target. You know by getting that tackle on uh, James Justin, and um, I'm hoping we spend. Hopefully, we'll pay that fifty million to sign him permanently from Villa. 
into the midfield, I'm actually going to keep it the same as Sunday. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised potentially if there are changes because we've got three games in a week. Um, maybe we'll make changes to for this game or against uh, Norwich on Saturday. So, first one, it's obviously Bruno Guimaraes. Um, of course, the two-goal hero from uh, Sunday. Um, in the centre of that midfield, I'm going to go with um, John Joe Shelby. And the third and final midfielder, Joe Linton. I mean, you could put Willock in there because he did well to um, you know, get the cross in and to uh, help us win the game, but I think it would, it would also be harsh to drop Per Shelby or Jolinton. And of course, Gimaraish, um feels like he's first name on the team sheet at the minute. Now, um, the front three on the right-hand side, going to go with uh, Miguel Amaron. Uh, he played really well against Leicester City, I think. That's really been his best game of the season so far. Um, I think... There was a moment when he just kept the ball in play when it looked like he was going out. Um, but I've been impressed with him on the right hand side, even though I'm not too con even though I wasn't haven't been keen on play there. Um, up top as the striker, I am still going to go with Chris Wood, but he needs the service if he's going to get goals. And. Um, we need also play to his strengths, which is getting crosses into the box for him to head in, like we saw against Southampton. And on the left hand side, uh, Alan St. Maximin, who had a better game against Leicester, but still, he does frustrate us at times. So, that's my starting 11. Let me know what you'd go with, um, any changes you make. In terms of a score prediction, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Newcastle United. Um, thanks for watching the video. Don't get hit like, subscribe to my channel. Check out my social media pages in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.